Welcome back. You know, it's amazing and somewhat surprising how little we really know about the U.S. wars in both Iraq and Afghanistan. Now, just think about some of these numbers. The number of American military service members to serve in those two wars, more than two and a half million. And of those who served, today the nation celebrates the sixth living service member to return and be awarded, and as you'll see, very rightfully so, the highest honor we can give, the Medal of Honor. And two quick notes about the honor for the former U.S. Army Captain William Swenson, who wants to now resume back to active duty. The Army released helmet cam video of what happened so we can show you some of it as his story is told. And the other is from the President himself as he describes this hero's actions. I want to take you back to that September morning four years ago. It's around sunrise. A column of Afghan soldiers and their American advisors are winding their way up a narrow trail towards a village to meet with elders. But just as the first soldier reaches the outskirts of the village, all hell breaks loose. Almost instantly, four Americans, three Marines, one Navy, at the front of the column are surrounded. Uh, Will and the soldiers in the center of the column are pinned down. Rocket-propelled grenades, mortar, machine gun fire, all of this is pouring in from three sides. As he returns fire, uh, Will calls for air support but his initial requests are denied. Uh, Will and his team are too close to the village. And then Will learns that his non-commissioned officer, Sergeant First Class Kenneth Westbrook, has been shot in the neck. So Will breaks across 50 meters of open space, bullets biting all around. Lying on his back, he presses a bandage to Kenneth's wounds with one hand and calls for a medevac with the other, trying to keep his buddy calm. By this time, the enemy has gotten even closer, just 20 uh, or 30 meters away, and over the radio they're demanding the Americans to surrender. So Will stops treating Kenneth long enough to respond by lobbing a grenade. And finally, after more than an hour and a half of fighting, air support arrives. Will directs them to nearby targets, then it's time to move, so exposing himself again to enemy fire, Will helps carry Kenneth the length of more than two football fields down steep terraces to that helicopter. And then, in the moment captured by those cameras, Will leans in to say goodbye. But more Americans and more Afghans are still out there, so Will does something incredible. He jumps behind the wheel of an unarmored Ford Ranger pickup truck. A Marine gets in the passenger seat, and they drive that truck, as a vehicle designed for the highway, straight into the battle. Twice they pick up injured Afghan soldiers, bullets whizzing past them, slamming into the pickup truck. Twice they bring them back. When the truck gives out, they grab a Humvee. The Marine by Will's side has no idea how they survived, but he says, by that time, it didn't matter. Uh, we weren't going to leave any soldiers behind. Finally, a helicopter spots those four missing Americans hours after they were trapped in the open ambush. So Will gets in another Humvee with a crew that includes Dakota Meyer, and together they drive past enemy fighters, up through the valley, exposed once more. And when they reach the village, Will jumps out, drawing even more fire, dodging even more bullets. But they reach those Americans, lying where they fell. Will and the others carry them out one by one. They bring their fallen brothers home. Now, Scripture tells us, the greatest among you shall be your servant. Captain Will Swenson was a leader on that September morning. But like all great leaders, he was also a servant to the men he commanded, to the more than a dozen Afghans and Americans whose lives he saved, to the families of those who gave their last full measure of devotion on that faraway field. As one of his fellow soldiers later said, Will did things that nobody else would ever do, and he did it for his guys and for everybody on the ground to get them out.